After 59 years, the Badgers are headed back to the Final Four. 14 years cannot erase the improbable nature of what transpired back in the spring of 2000. When we got on that roll, no one thought it was coming. It was like a, a true Cinderella run for us. In early March, in their final regular season game, a 12-loss Badger team awaited the arrival of the 14th-ranked Indiana Hoosiers and their legendary coach. Six to shoot. Linton to the line. Down the lane. Goes up. Left hand. Got it. Maurice Linton on the drive. Time has expired. There's Bob Knight smashed a clipboard. He was so angry. Coach Knight broke his clipboard on the sideline. I remember that. Remember that? It was yeah. fantastic. <laughs> uh, so that was kind of the start of it for us. We knew we had to get a couple more wins to make sure we were on the right side of the bubble. Against Brody, Darren backs him in. Look at that up and under move. Yes, and one. After two wins in the Big Ten tournament, they rode into Salt Lake on the NCAA tournament bubble, facing the nation's leading scorer, Courtney Alexander, and nine seed Fresno State hoping to avenge an embarrassing first round loss the prior year to Southwest Missouri State. We had fell flat on our face the year before, and uh, as players, we were just hoping to get one win. Bryant puts up the three and around to Bryant. Hey, I'll take another. That pickpocket move. Bryant again. <laughs> you got to be kidding. 21 points. We were motivated to get in there and win that first game. We wanted to avenge the loss from the, from the previous year. So beating Fresno State, we wanted to, to Arizona. Like, guys, we got, we got nothing to lose here. Let's go out and play hard. Top seed Arizona was next, a roster loaded with future NBA talent. We didn't have a guy who was first or second team all conference on our team, and we were playing all these pros. But that's the beauty of the college game, I think. Davis. Kelly fires inside. Kowski. Oh! And then right there to meet him again is Kowski. And there's the steal. Here comes Kelly. Oh, the kick by Kowski. And look at Arenas. He's down. It's been called ugly basketball. It's been called slow and boring basketball. But whatever you call it today, it's winning basketball. Wisconsin upsets top seed in the West. Arizona 66-59, clinching a trip to its first Sweet 16 of the modern era. Hi, everybody. Back on the long fans. We didn't come here. We did it, man. I'm not sure that I could adequately describe how good we feel uh, or how proud I am of this team. It's indescribable. It's just the best feeling in the world. I'm just happy for everybody, my team, my coaches, people, our fans. I mean, it's just that feeling you can't explain. LSU averages 76 a game. Yet obstacles remain. A week later in Albuquerque, a date with SEC champion LSU in Wisconsin's first ever Sweet 16. Kowski again, posted up Swift. And he's got some room in there. Inside, jump hook again. That has been the Wisconsin offense thus far. Enter the ball down low to Andy Kowski and have him go one-on-one -on -one against Stromile Swift. Again, against LSU, we were big underdogs. And everyone just assumed we were gonna lose that game. Bryant popping out and buries it. That was a good screen by Wills that time. And here's Kelly with the steal. Easy layup. Kelly off the dribble. Nice feed. Swartz steps off the bench and scores. First shot hits the three. The Wisconsin Badgers on their feet. They have a big date with the Boilers. Big Ten rival Purdue was the only thing left standing between the upstart Badgers and a trip to the elusive Final Four. It really hit us before the Purdue game because the, the locker room, you could hear a pin drop. Guys are, guys are finally sunk in while we're playing for a trip to the Final Four and, and Coach had a, a memorable speech before the game and um, I think he got a little choked up. Quickly than you want to. Brian, quick oh, release. Brian again, got a crease and buries it. Dewaney, Dewaney, downtown. Bryant baseline, off the glass, and the follow, Kowski. We had a, a theme that year, which we, we called Touch the Dream. And it seemed like we were right there, able to touch it, like going to the final four. Inside, Kowski all alone from Kelly. Dewaney, Dewaney, nice look, Kowski again. He is finding a way to the basket. Bryant again for three, number four. Bryant all alone. Kelly. This young man can see. After 59 years, the Badgers are headed back to the Final Four. I'm so happy right now. I just wish I could have a marketing test on Monday. I could celebrate a little bit. If there are words in the English language that describe it, I can't think of them. Nap time, dog. Back
back on the streets of Madison, pandemonium. We were told on the plane that, that there was going to be a pep rally at Camp Randall Stadium. And we just assumed that maybe a couple thousand people would show up. The bus turned the corner around the field house, and we look in, and that whole side where the suites are now was full. Uh, maybe 20, 25,000 people. And we just couldn't believe it. I expected a few thousand. Like, I, I mean, this is awesome. There was only 64 teams, then 32, then 16, then 8. Now there's only four left, and Wisconsin Badgers are one of four teams left. Yeah, yeah. First final four of the century. Next stop, Indianapolis, and a fourth battle with number one Michigan State. A two-point game at the half. The magical ride finally would end. The older I get, the more I wish we would have won that game. Man, it would have been great to play in that championship game. But uh, just... They had our number that year. Not enough to ruin the memory of that run for the ages in a magical march. It's fun. I mean, that's what you, as a kid, you know, you do the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, you take the shot, and you pretend like you're going to be there someday. And to know that you did it, man, nobody can take that away. 14 years later, they're hopeful this year's team can take it a step further. This is a better team than we were. So, and that's what I told them. I said, you know, we got to the Final Four, and I'd like to see these guys win two more games. And it both says 40 more minutes. So. They got to focus on Kentucky right now, but they make you proud to be a former player because of the way they get it done on the court. You know, I'm proud of what we did back then and also very proud of the team and what they're doing now. I'm the biggest Badger fan out there right now. Your Wisconsin Badgers! Two teams connected by their history their character. Man, this is amazing. I just want to thank you guys for coming out here. And by the Cardinal in white running through their veins. We couldn't have done this without you guys. Every March, uh, when this comes on, they'll have a chance to watch the games and think back to what they did. And for the rest of their lives, people will be talking to them about this run. It's pretty special that we're going to the Final Four again because it brings back all the good memories. Um, all the stories come back to life. You play hard for four years, and you, you hope that you have good success. We were fortunate enough to have it. And now. When we get together, we get to act like old guys and reminisce on the good old days. Right hand, no good. Wisconsin wins the game. I can't believe I'm going to say it, but here it comes. The Wisconsin Badgers are going to the final four.